What's going on? It's your boy Will My Craven coming to you with another video. Hit that like, share, subscribe button. Um, and without further ado, um, I'm gonna dive right into this. So all over social media, um my man's let's make sure I spell this well pronounce this dude's name right. I'm gonna call him Akimi by his last name. <laughs> I'm I'm not gonna attempt to Butch his first name, but uh, Akimi, the uh, football player, uh, as in what we know as soccer in the U.S., um, he's been trending uh, for the last at least three, four days for the mere fact that he, uh, his his wife tried to divorce him, and in the process, she wanted half. And turns out that majority of stuff wasn't in his name, and his mother had eighty percent of his earnings and all of the stuff he had. So, <laughs> of course, there's been a, a mixed emotions on on both sides of the coin about what happened with this guy and how he basically finessed it and. People are saying he's the greatest of all time, <laughs> which this is what I've been saying for guys to do. If you have a mother you can trust or any type of family member that you really trust to actually do that. I've been saying this for a while now. Um, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> the fact of the matter is, is I see a lot of women turn around and saying, that he was bogus and then tried to throw out the rape allegations and all that. And I decided to do my own digging. So I'm having a conversation with my guy and we're talking about it. Uh, my boy, uh, Anthony Williams. And I said, do y'all know that she's 36 and he's 24? He's like, oh, straight up? I'm like, yeah, man. Like, in my younger years, I spent a lot of time uh, engaging with older women because I was touted as to be a lot wiser than most of the individuals my age, which most most of the people who I ended up, well, most women I ended up uh, interacting with were usually at least 10 years older than me because all my close guys are at least 10 years older than me. So I basically fit right in. But I always noticed that anytime I was dealing with older women, they had a tendency to want to try to act like they were my mother, even though I may I, I would outwit them and just know a lot more. It was that age thing always manifests. So that was the first thing that I caught in that whole situation was the fact that She's 10 years older than him. So after looking up that, I noticed, oh, she's an actress. So she started her acting game in 2014, being on TV over in Spain. So I was like, okay. So she's 12 years older than him, which at that time, he steps on the scene as far as international soccer in 2016. So he's 16 years old at, at depending on how it falls, 16 years old, uh, playing international soccer, and she's at the time 28, starting to blossom in her acting career. So, hmm, what do I remember as far as being interacting with women that were older than me? It was always, I was a breath of fresh air because I even though I was mature for my age, the thing was I still felt so much more different. So that age thing, it, it always seemed to be with them. Like they, they thought they could manipulate me <laughs> in a sense, but it generally wouldn't happen. And after a certain amount of time, they want to be done because it's like, oh, I can't really get this guy. So, um, yeah. That was the first thing I noticed. So what's going off in my brain? 
what's going off in my brain is okay, so you're actor and you know you're actress and you're on TV, and you're telling me you can't land a guy in your own lane. Hmm. You can't land any other guy that's not even in your lane, considering the fact that you're on TV. It's like, oh, okay. So, hmm. Sixteen. You know he's in the well, now he's in the limelight, and and there's this possibility of, of of her being able to get him somewhere down the line. So they other key element that that comes up is they get married in 2020, which I found out that information. They got married in February of 2020, which is where I told my guys like it's really gonna be interesting to find out two main key elements in this whole thing which would pretty much solidify the foundation of what's really going on here so um they're married in february of 2020 so of course in 2020 what is he 20 he's born in he's born towards the end of of the year november okay so yeah he's if i'm not mistaken he's born in november uh, so right now he's still 24, which he just turned 24. So 2022, 2021, 2020, 24, 23, 22. So he turns 20, he turned 22 in, in the end of 2020. So he was 21 when he got married, which is what I thought. So the other key element which I haven't found that information yet is when does that child turn what well what day was that child born because there were there the other thing that I noticed right out the gate when seeing pictures of her she's not traditional Muslim and based on seeing his mother she looks traditional Muslim so <laughs> With her attire, she looks more liberated, modern. <laughs> so there was another red flag to go off in my brain. And like I said, considering the fact that she's not traditional. And that, see, that's what a lot of people, I've seen a lot of women start saying, oh, his, he, he a mama's boy and mama got control. We know this is going to be a problem. It would not have been a problem if she was traditional Muslim. Why? Because she would have fell in line with the mother and the mother would have opened up to her to a degree. So it wouldn't have just been as bad. But of course, like I said, she's older. I already peep game. Once I start seeing certain things, I peep game already. Like, yeah, she was trying to get that bag. So, and, and we will definitely know if she was trying to get that bag, if that kid was born before December of 2020. Which then tells me she got pregnant before they got married, which is an extreme key element. Why is that a key element? Because, again, the mother is traditional, Muslim. So you know, when, when you start looking at old school and traditions, they have a tendency of wanting things to be a certain way. So the easiest way for her to sign off them to get of getting married is a grandchild manifesting so yeah okay whatever you get married you messed up we try to make the best of this situation but some things ain't gonna change because i don't know my 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 spidey ting, uh, senses is still tingling on this situation so if that info if we are anybody ever finds that information and if you're in the comments and you found out that information put that in the put that in the comments because, like I said, he turned, he turns whatever age in November, which it wouldn't shock me if she got pregnant in November of 2019. <laughs> but, and, of course, they get married in 2020, right at the height of uh, COVID. So, of course... <laughs> Now, as I was saying, most of COVID, you're going to find out what your marriages and relationships is all about during that time period. So 
yeah, they sh they have two kids. Uh, the other one's born in 2022, and that was the other element that made me that that once again red flag going off. It was like, okay, so when is this other kid born? Because if the other kid is born, in which if the other kid is born towards the end of 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 2022, um. That makes it interesting. But then you can also, like I said, if, if that kid was born uh, towards the end of 2020, then you, you know, there's this, what is it, six weeks, six to 12, uh, somewhere in there, six, 12 weeks, you're not supposed to be doing anything. So that would mean j January and February, they're not fooling around if they sticking according to the uh, uh, doctor's orders. So that would mean February once again, that would push it to, all right, as soon as we fumble around in March, that would technically push them 10 months after that because, you know, the full 36 weeks end of nine months then goes right into 10 months. If, you, if, they, if they have it to term, that would push them right into January of 2022. So the possibility of, of having that kid then then pushes you towards the end of which would be October and possibly have another Scorpio on his hands, which I, I wouldn't doubt that actually happening. Him having, oh, okay, now I got a Scorpio kid just like me because I'm not mistaken that he is one too. So all this stuff, you know, all this stuff is playing in my mind is like, okay, man, this 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 is just simply not stacking in her favor. <laughs> she could it's gonna stack in her favor based on women because they're not gonna really look at all these details. But me looking at these details is like nah because all right. When this day and age, it's like oh my happiness, my happiness, and I did that video on my happiness. They're only married basically for two years technically, <laughs> even though it's saying three, but. On her, on her, uh, on her, well, yeah, they married, well, yeah, they're married for three years, but she said on her IG that they, they separated, and that happened, she posted that at the beginning of March, so nine times out of ten, that happened in February, and of course, well, actually, they might have separated before then, the divorce was more or less, more so foul. And and sometime the maybe the last the first week of March maybe the end of February somewhere in there in which they were more than likely separated already before then, which is like all right no this just ain't gonna work. So yeah, you really don't count twenty twenty three for the most part. And okay, if she had the kid at the beginning, well she got pregnant at the beginning of twenty twenty two. Who's to say she don't have postpartum? All, 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 which is why I said happiness. And, uh, and a lot of women was like, oh, he, that, the divorce allegations. That mess didn't come up until after the divorce was filed. So, like, yeah, come on, man. All this, all this, in my opinion, is pointing fingers to her. And I know it's going to be a lot of women. That's just not going to like it. And some little sucker dudes ain't going to like it either. But the fact of the matter is, that real key element is when was that first child born? <laughs> because as I was talking to my guy, he was like, hey, man, dude, you saying something I ain't think about most people. He's like, because I remember my marriage, man. Uh, yeah, one of them joints slipped up on me. And the next thing I know, we out of there. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure it's a bunch of dudes who been in that boat. Next thing you know, she pregnant, and all of a sudden, postpartum. You know, it's easy to throw that. Oh, I got postpartum, and you know, because they happiness. I'm not happy. I want out. <laughs> and in her case, uh, I want out. I'm on half. Like she automatically come in asking for half. And she really thought it was finna be that sweet. <laughs> Man. 
And this is why I said what I said on that Virgins video, man. Dudes, they will think that, oh, you got an issue and this issue and you're supposed to be in a marriage for the long haul. Hey, look here. I'm, I'm, I'm still part old school. <laughs> uh... Don't 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 think it's so sweet to where it's gonna stay sweet. No, you prepare. You always prepare. And in the end, when you're prepared, you're covered. And to prepare yourself doesn't necessarily mean you think it's not gonna work. One of my favorite passages in, in, in the Bible is the 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 sower who comes and sows seed at night in his vineyard no it's not his vineyard in his fields and it's the wheat and the tares now the master automatically says it is an enemy who done this <laughs> it's an enemy so you got to understand this is why i say the things that i say man yo yo it, two individuals could be on the same team and it's sweet in the beginning but at some point in, in, in the midst of that, an enemy is going to come in and sow tares in your field that where the wheat is supposed to grow. But what tends to happen is a lot of, a lot of rascals are not like the master where he turns around and says, no, do not pluck this up. Because if you pluck this up, you're going to have more problems. In the end, we're just going to let them grow together and they'll separate in the end. <laughs> but... That has a tendency of not happening. So marriages simply go awry because a lot of individuals just don't understand that an enemy came in, sowed tears in your field. Now you discombobulated. You upset. You're not happy like the servant. And now you want to uproot everything. No, just let that mess grow in, grow out. And and what would have been if she was really about the right, she would have. First of all, should have been married to a, a 21-year-old who's an athlete, it's basically almost a, a superstar. Well, he's basically a world from world renowned superstar because he came in at such a young age, killing the game. Like, really? You don't think this guy may not fool around with having opportunities? I mean, <laughs> come on. Like, yeah. Which is why. I understand. She thought she was more than what she was and she can actually control the situation because I've been there, man. I've been in this type of situation as far as being with an older woman who want to try to control the narrative on you. And they do. So they try to be very manipulative. And if you're not smart and wise, you're going to get caught in that trick bag. And honestly, uh, I don't remember once ever getting caught in that trick bag. Most of the time they end up being mad at me because you're not finna control me, man. That that's just simple as that. I'm controlling how this goes. <laughs> that that's it's that's that's how I play it in my book. It's gonna go how I want this to go. I'm gonna lead this ship. Because if I let you lead this ship, it's gonna be a whole lot of emotions going on and I'm finna feel like we in a constant storm. One minute it's hot. One minute is cold. I mean, basically like the weather's been the last, what, last 24, 40, 36 hours. It was 80 degrees the other day. Uh, what, on Sunday? Yeah, and then turn around on Monday, it's snowing, 30-something degrees. <laughs> and, and putting people in their feelings. But, man, in this situation, man, as far as a dude, and I, I know a lot of guys like older women, who are, who, and generally those are guys who are more mature, and they, they find a woman who's on the same thinking path as as, as they are, and of course, an uh, older woman is going to be a little bit more family orientated because she's hitting that mark. She's getting close. If she's not at, if she's not past the 40, 40 mark. She's going to be thinking to find a guy who she can settle down with and he's going to want kids automatically because within men, we want children. We want to have children. It's just in us that want to have children. So, boom, she hit the jackpot. So she thought. <laughs> Man, so she thought. Oh, boy, oh, boy. 
it's 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 funny and it's sad at the same time because you come in with the wrong intentions, man. Yeah, it's gonna be some out of control emotions going on with this lady, and he better watch his children if she ends up with the children because I I don't think it can get any worse than that. You 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 married to somebody who has seventy is worth seventy million and. He's not technically worth seventy million because his mother has the seventy million. So the half you thought you was about to get, you're not even getting half. Yeah. So what? Twenty percent. Twenty percent. Boom 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 boom. Four. What? Fourteen? Is that fourteen? Two. Seven. No, that's not fourteen. Oh, yeah, actually, four. Four. No, no, it's five, so it'll be what, one? Yeah, four. Leave with two. Yeah, so it's 14. 14 million, technically, is what he's he's had. Yeah. I ain't seen all the culture, but yeah, 14 million would be 20% of it. So... Half of what? That's what seven million, possibly, if it's that. Because then, if he's had the fourteen million in that time period, who's to say how much of that he spent? <laughs> Which then would cut. If he spent half of it, that would be leaving with seven million, and she'd only be entitled to half of seven million. <laughs> I mean, that's still a, that's still a pretty penny. Uh, based on uh, any individual who's not worth a million dollars. So, yeah, whatever. But um, I think people really need to find out before they cast judgment to see how old that child, that first child is or when that first child was born. Because, like I said, if that first child is born before November, she got pregnant before they got married. And there's a possibility that she could have been pregnant in January of 2020 or the end of 2019. And what, how, how, how interesting would that be if she was, if she got pregnant in October of 2019? So, of course, in 20, the end of 2020, she turns no, in the end of 2019, he turned 21. No, was it 22? Yeah, 22. Because 2020 is, no, yeah. 2022 is the 24. 2021 is the 23. And 2020 is the 22. So, so going into 2019, he turned 21. So he could have been 20 when she got pregnant which makes that even more interesting. Then it goes back to, okay, so if she if he got her pregnant at 20, how long were they talking to each other before they even got married? And that's 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 what made it so made it so comical to me because it wasn't that long ago people, people was 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 coming for Marcus Houston neck <laughs> because he had a 19-year-old. So if she got this dude at 19, did she not groom him? I mean, it's almost the same thing. <laughs> it's the only difference is, is that he's, what, maybe two years older than Marcus Houston's wife? And she's, what, five years younger than him? Because he's 41, so she's 36. It's a five-year difference. Are people saying anything about that? You gonna say anything about that? It's like, man, come on, man. Yeah, like I said, I just recently did that video like about protecting y'all selves. <laughs> I literally did this video not long ago about protecting yourself. And Buddy just shows up why you need to do it. <laughs> and I said, I, I'm working on protecting myself and all that stuff, my son and stuff. Like, man, like, yeah, I literally said this stuff not long ago. And you have to. Because, and 
This is a whole other thing that I want to say. I don't think I've said this on. I might have mentioned it, but I've said it's off camera in regards to uh, all this talk I hear about passport bros. Y'all wasting y'all time with that too, man. <laughs> as long as the U.S. is the way the U.S. is, other countries are watching the U.S. Other countries can check you out via the phone, via the tablet right here. And watch and see what we do. This, which is what, what most of our civilization right now is currently learned behavior from watching these devices. So you don't think that these other countries and the women, they going to see this stuff and not actually start gravitating to it more and more? I, man, I see, I see the mess from other countries and looking at their fingernails, looking to see how many tattoos they now have, all the piercings. Some of these countries that you be seeing look like they U.S. women. It ain't going to be nothing but a matter of time before they actually take on the whole mindset. Dude. So you go into another country, that mess is going to erode it eventually. And it's going to be the same mess as it is in the United States. <laughs> Regardless of what you think, it's going to be end up being the same. At some point, you may have a good 5, 10 years left to have your fun. Or go, or go exploring rather, not have your fun, but go exploring. But even then, dudes with the passport, the, the passports ain't making it really no better because they ain't gonna do nothing but go out, go and smash. I remember when I was playing in the band. What was that? Was that when I? Yeah, when I was married. So that was like what 2013 maybe. Yeah, it was about 2013, 2014, somewhere in there. And the dude used to always talk about, he's like, oh, man, you know, uh, off-white guy, Caucasian dude. <laughs> and he'd be like, oh, yeah, you know, you, you, you make out just as good as me over there. I'll be in China, man. I just, I smash and, I smash and leave him. I'm like, wait, what? Yeah, yeah, I done probably got plenty of them pregnant over there, man. I'm like God over there. You know what I'm saying? They like my skin and all this. They just gravitate to me and blah, blah, blah. So <laughs> this was 2013. Do a smash and pass, basically, and leave. You, you know how many more or less heartbroken women there is that, that have to experience that? Now I got to take care of this child and this guy's gone. I mean, I'm sure that's happening with these passport bros, too. So, I mean, y'all, stuff like this that's happening with Spade, it's not a surprise to me. Because, I mean, I saw the way she was dressed. The stuff she... She didn't have on no traditional stuff. She looked like she could have fit right on in in the United States. <laughs> Come on, man. Y'all, y'all, it is very important as a man. You protect yourself, protect your assets. Yes, because I did say this on that other video. The minute she can turn around and do this type of thing, you now are not in control of being able to bless who you want to bless, take care of who you want to take care of, give whatever it is who you want to give it to because she's now reaching in and taking half of it and controlling. And that's the whole premise of feminism. Well, one, one of the aspects of many versions of feminism is, is to take power. I've, I've said this plenty of times before. And this is going to really be interesting to see how this plays out because a lot of women are going to think, oh, you better not do this. And if you're, I don't even care, man, don't listen to that mess because even if you're the average Joe, man, you still need to be paying attention to that. There were things in my, while I was married, when I knew the mess wasn't going to work out, I didn't buy, I wasn't going to get such and such because I knew if I got such and such, I'm going to have to split it. So I ain't finna do that. I ain't finna, no, no. <laughs> I, I was very smart to teach strategic in the things that I did. And in things that I knew to put myself in a position, regardless of people say, oh, yeah, you you might as well get ready and pay her, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, okay. Y'all think, think I'm really that stupid. I, I, yeah, once I saw the handwriting on the wall, <laughs> which all it took was me to have a dream. I have a dream, that mess. That mess gonna happen in time. All right. That 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 prepared me right there. So I was like, all right, okay, cool, man. Preparing yourself and making sure you insure yourself in certain areas 
will limit the heartache or any type of distraught or loss that you will have. The whole object of life is about minimizing your risk. Why, why do nothing? And when it, something actually happens, you didn't protect yourself just in case something happened. <laughs> I, I, I used to hear as a kid, the, the, the church people always say, well, would you rather, when they would go out there and, and try to, what they call witness to somebody, would you rather uh, know Jesus and, and, and accept him as your Lord and Savior, brother? And so if you, when you die, that, uh, yeah, you, you, you can see God in the end. Wouldn't you rather have that assurance as, as opposed to, well, you live your life, you don't give your, give your life to Christ, and you go before God and you go to hell, and all of it was real. <laughs> I mean, it's literally the same thing, man. You... Okay, I'm not, getting in, I'm not getting into marriage to actually get a divorce, but for some reason, if that does happen, and there's a high probability, considering the fact I live in the United States of America, where it's over 50 percent rate of you actually getting divorced. I think I'm gonna protect myself. I'd be a fool not to. <laughs> like really. But once again, why well, I always say that women will manipulate it. They go, no, no, you must, you, you, you don't want to, you don't. If you think you're gonna get divorced, you already setting up a failure. Yeah, making you make sure that you don't have that coverage <laughs> just in case something happened. You know, you're like, would you, would you drive down the street knowing that there are plenty of people that can run into you, even though you may drive perfectly, and then they tear your car up? Now you got to pay for the damages. Now you at a loss. <laughs> this is why I say you need to learn what it is that you need to learn first before you even walk into that thing. But clearly, my man's mother was smart enough to know, like, no, nah, I'm gonna watch you. And I do the same, I told my son, that's the same type of stuff I'm gonna do to him. Bring her to me, okay, if this, I'm gonna advise you, but if that's what you want, that's what you want.